And um, so today, yes, is the Manapura chakra, and we have moved up to the solar plexus area. And the solar plexus area is um, where the fire is really alive. So we're gonna be doing a lot of core. Um, what it means energetically in the chakras, chakras are wheels, energetic wheels, and um, within these wheels can be disturbances, stuckness, or flow. In the solar plexus is where we gain our strength, individuality, uh, being able to kind of walk to our own beat, um, not to be afraid or embarrassed, to really uh, mature into the people that we become, who we hope to become. And when the chakra, the third chakra, the Manapura chakra is um, not in balance, we tend to feel defeated and that we don't have solutions. We forget to trust ourselves and our instincts, which is ties it into the third eye because your third eye is your instincts, your intuition, right? So the third eye and the third chakra work together. The mudra that we're gonna come right into breath of fire with because breath of fire goes with the third chakra and it's a really big, let me show you my stomach, it's a bounce of the belly in and out through the nose. So the actual mudra, I don't want to mispronounce it, is Mantagi Mudra or Mantaji Mudra. In um, India, I watched a video, they did say Mantagi <laughs> Mudra. So if you want to be truly authentic, that's how you do it. So you're going to cross all of your hands and it's the middle finger that goes up. So this is the mudra in which we're going to do breath of fire for a full minute to awaken and bring into activity that third chakra in the center of the body, which is the solar plexus. So find a place to start, cross your legs, sit up tall, spine straight. We take a deep breath in through the nose, deep breath out through the mouth. And when you're ready, inhale through the nose and breath of fire. Fire it up. Visualize everything rising. Pumping the liver, the pancreas, the gallbladder, the gut. 30 seconds more. Establish a state of balance within the body. 15 seconds. Take a deep breath in. Hold your breath. Out through the mouth. Hands down on the knees, sense and right into tabletop, let's go. Right into tabletop. Okay, so we're gonna connect in a very simple way to that core again. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, tops of the feet down, and I want you to pull in through cat pose, but bring the belly button up towards the sternum, sternum to the belly button, and engage your sphincter muscle here. Engage your core muscles, your deep core muscles. Good, and then release and keep that engagement. And only upper back lifts up to the chest. And then again, cat. So it's a very different cat-cow. Your lower belly is engaged the whole time. Inhale, exhale, cat. Inhale, cow, exhale, cat. So this whole time, all of this, this tightness in the belly stays. Two more. Good. And then extend the right leg out, left arm forward, engage again. Sternum to the navel, navel to the sternum, gazes down. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Inhale, 
Okay, it's gonna be a breath of fire, exhale through the nose on the crunch. So it's inhale, crunch. I want 10. Big exhale. Two and one. Other side. Right arm out, left leg out. Pull everything in. Hold and stabilize through the middle, the balance of the body. And then here we go. It's an inhale, breath of fire, push out through the nose. Ten. Good, right hand down, left knee down, left elbow down, right elbow down. Curl in again, engage the sphincter muscles round the lower back, it's really the upper back here, chin towards the chest. And then again, you're gonna extend into a plank, inhale, exhale, bring it down. Inhale, extend, bring it down. We're gonna do 10 just like that, plank to knees down, plank to knees down, good. So it's this forearm thing. Whoops. Good. Two more. Walk the legs back. Come into Sphinx pose. Forearms on the ground. Fingers open wide. Shoulders roll down and back. Connect the pubic bone to the ground to start. This is going to be our inhale. And then we're going to come all the way up. Forearm plank. Exhale. And then knees hover, crunch in. And then sphinx, inhale, plank, exhale, inhale, crunch, and then sphinx. We're gonna do 10 of these, untuck, good. Sphinx, plank, hover, crunch, and release. That's three. And four. Five. You should really start to feel something changing in the lower belly. Two more. And this is gonna be needed for our inversion later, so get excited. And release, Sphinx Pose. Bring the hands under the shoulders, toes untucked in the back, pull the upper body, peel the upper body up, get into the spine, bring your gaze up. Connect with your middle finger. Connect with the middle of the body. Connect with the middle toe. Take an inhale. Exhale. Next exhale, downward dog. Good. Look between your hands, soften your knees, step forward. Lengthen. And then fold. Inhale, mountain pose, hands over your head, middle fingers touch. Every time we come to mountain pose, I want you to come back into that mudra, crossing the fingers, middle finger up. And then forward fold, release, down. Step back, plank pose. I'm gonna roll to my left side first. Lift the right arm, plank. I'm on the edges of the feet, yep. And then you're gonna dig the right arm underneath like threading the needle, lift it up. Right elbow to the right knee and crunch it. Try not to fall like I just did. Thread the needle, we're gonna do five. Lift up, crunch it. Underneath, crunch. Underneath, this is one more, uh, one more after this one. Underneath, and crunch. Good, roll to full plank, to chaturanga. Up dog if you've got it today, and then downward dog. Connect for an inhale. Connect for an exhale. Look between your hands, bend your knees. Think of the stomach and the sternum hugging in again like that crunch we practiced a moment ago. And use that to hop to the top. Lengthen the spine. Hell yeah, good job. And <laughs> down. Inhale, come to the mudra, middle finger up. Good, exhale, we release. Inhale, we lift. Step back, plank, and pause. Roll to the right side. Lift the left arm up. I'm on the edge, the blade edges of my feet. And then 
Thread the left arm under. Lift and crunch. Left knee, left elbow. Roll under. Thread. Good. This is two. Roll under. This is, I believe, four. And five. Come all the way full plank pose. Hover, chaturanga. Up dog or cobra. Downward dog, full inhale. Full exhale. Soften the knees. Pull that sternum to the belly button, look forward. On your exhale, hop to the top of your legs. Lengthen the spine. And all the way down. Inhale, we lift. Sink into chair pose, we release. Find that crunch again. So I want you to pull sternum to belly button, belly button to sternum. Stick your muscles engaged. Good. Drag the feet apart without moving them. And release. Step back, plank. Elbows down, please. Roll to the left edges of your feet. I'm going left so I can see you guys the first time. Forearm comes across, right arm up. Good. Thread. Lift and crunch. Thread, lift, and crunch. So active, active core. Active, active awareness. Stay focused on your breath, please. Last one. Good. Right hand down. Push all the way up plank. Chaturanga, cobra, and downward dog. Stay for an inhale. Stay for an exhale. Bend the knees, inhale, crunch. Hop to the top, exhale. Good, inhale, halfway lift. I feel shirts are gonna be coming off soon, and fold. Bond at the top, mantra or mudra, I'm sorry, inhale. Stay chair pose, crunch here, right? Sphincter, core, hold, three, two, one. Hands down, step back, left foot, right foot. Left elbow, right elbow. Find your strength in the middle. No sagging tushes, nice and firm. Roll to the outer edges of the right feet, right foot, left foot. Right arm, horizontal to the mat, left arm goes up. Inhale, roll under, exhale. Inhale, left elbow to the left knee, they meet. Release, go down and roll, good, that's two. We're going for three. Activate, activate that center. This is four. And this is five. Good. Left palm down, push right arm down, right hand down, plank. Chat around it nice and strong. Up dog or cobra. Downward dog, the head releases last. Stay here for an inhale. Stay here for an exhale. Bend the knees, crunch the core together, look to your hands, and hop to the top. Inhale, we lengthen. The belly connects, exhale. Inhale, standing all the way up, palms together, middle finger rise. Chair pose, sink. Crunch in, arms are slightly forward, drag the feet apart. Good, release. Halfway lift. Step back plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Roll the shoulders down. Pull the heart forward. Downward dog. Turn on your quadricep muscles. Stay here. Connect to the middle finger. Connect to the middle toe finger. Toe, I should say. Fire up the navel. Here we go. Right leg's going up to the sky. Inhale. Right knee crunches to the chest. Exhale, we're going to five. Inhale, right knee to the left elbow. Exhale. Inhale, right leg up. Knee to the navel, or to the chest, I should say. Inhale, knee to the left elbow. Inhale, knee to the chest. Inhale, knee to the elbow. Last one, inhale. Knee to the chest. All the way up we go, right leg. Shift into a plank pose. 
One-legged chaturanga for the back muscles. One-legged cobra. You got it. Tuck the left toes. Lift all the way up and back. Three-legged dog. Right leg beside the left leg. Set up again. In and out through the nose. Connect to the middle fingers. Connect to the middle. Engage your sphincter muscles. Engage your quads. Left leg inhales up to the sky. Knee to the chest. Exhale. Crunch. Come on, Jack. You got this. Inhale. Left leg up. Exhale. Left knee left to the right elbow. Inhale. Knee to the chest. Good. Inhale. Knee to the elbow. Inhale. Really turn. Turn, turn, turn. Get into the side oblique. One more set after this guy. I believe this might be an extra one. It's okay. And to the elbow. Left leg up to the sky. Shift it to three-legged plank. No sagging butts. Get into your lower back. Chaturanga, one-legged cobra, left leg all the way up, three-legged dog, downward dog, three breaths, yep, it's coming off, sorry girls, time to get sexy, <laughs> I've lost my shit everybody, right elbow down, left elbow down, walk your feet up, slip your tailbone high, Turn your quadricep muscles to the top of the legs on. Good. Gaze is at the ankles or navel better yet. Right leg up. Right, right knee to the right shoulder. Right leg up. Right knee, right shoulder. Right leg up. We're going to five. Good. Up. This is four. Up. Five. And up. Right foot down. Press into the hands, downward dog. Three breaths. Hug your armpits down. Internally rotate them. Charge up the core, the quads. Come down, left elbow, right elbow. Keep your wrists separate. Left leg up to the sky. Feel a strong line in your spine. Left knee, left elbow, or I should say shoulder. Lift up. We're going for five. Two. Exhale. Exhale. One more. Left leg by the right leg. Press up. Downward dog. Hug everything to the middle. Close your eyes. Imagine this fire rising, rising, rising. Along with your energy along with your trust and your ability to contribute. Inhale, exhale, soften the knees, crunch in, stick your muscles on, hop to the top. After we lift, hello everybody, all the way down. <laughs> Inhale, we rise, mountain pose, middle finger. This is making me think of something not so very yoga-ish, but that's okay, chair pose. <laughs> Drag your feet apart. Engage that crunch feeling, that tuck, tuck, tuck in. Good. Forward fold. Halfway we lift. All the way down to plank. Chaturanga. Without a sagging back. Up dog or cobra. And then downward dog. Good. Here we go. Bring the left elbow down. Lift the right arm up. Left elbow is down, left finger is faced forward, right arm, right leg is up. Good. Hold here, flex the right toes towards you, then bend the knee, open it up, push through the left elbow, and then crunch in, right elbow with the knee. Lift back up. Open the hip, right knee, right elbow, crunch. This is two. Right leg up. Open it, crunch. Four. Right leg up, stack the hip, knee to the right elbow, five, right leg up, right foot beside the left foot, downward dog. Push. Push into the ground to lift the tailbone higher, then squeeze the inner thighs together. One more inhale. Exhale. Right elbow down. Left leg up, 
Bend the left knee, stack. Left elbow with the knee, that's one. Left leg up. Bend the knee, stack, crunch, that's two. Up, stack, crunch, three. Keep that right shoulder working hard, crunch. One more, left knee bends, stack, crunch, five. Left leg beside the right leg. Right hand pushes to the floor, downward dog. Shoulders hug down, support your back. Lift up through the toes, weight into the heels of the feet. Navel in. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Look between your hands, soften the knees, crunch through the core, hop to the top. We rise halfway and down. All the way up. We're going to pause up here for five breaths of mountain pose. Hold this mudra. Middle finger up. Arms hug towards one another. And notice if you're arching into your back and adjust. Close your eyes. Feel like there's this little C happening, this crescent in the front of the body. Fuel there. Good. Sink. Chair pose. Big toes together this time. Engage like a crunch. And then we're going to chop down right to the middle of the floor and then lift back up. One. Chop down. Two. Last one. And down. Hands to the floor. Hop back. Plank to Chaturanga. To Cobra. And downward we go. Five breaths. Connect with the breath. Let me check in with you all. Hug those shoulders towards yourselves. Yeah. Lift the tailbone higher. Turn on your quadriceps. And if your feet, your fingers feel more comfortable kind of fanning out a little bit, that's okay too, you guys. They don't have to be fingertips to the front of the mat. That's a bunch of rubbish. Good. Moving on. Right leg to the sky. Adding some standing postures now. Right foot in between your hands. Left leg to the sky, standing splits, inhale, chest rises, palms come flat, connect, belly to the leg, belly to the right leg, good. Now we're going to come left knee in front of the chest, balance on the right leg, whatever you need to do with the hands is okay, arms come all the way up, knees to the elbows, here we go, left knee goes up, inhale, crunch, two. Three, just straight up and down, four, and five. Left knee, I'm gonna turn open, goes out wide. And now we're gonna crunch left elbow to the left knee for one, two, three, four, five, tree pose, left foot, right thigh, balance. Good, you can do your mudra if you'd like, holding. Good. I'm going to come back to the top. Forward fold all the way down. Left leg way back for that lunge. Right leg back plank. Hold. Chaturanga. Up dog or cobra. Downward. Inhale. Exhale. Soft knees. Look between your hands. You know what to do. We're hopping. We lengthen and we fold. Inhale, chair. Sink in. Connect. Engage. Knee goes straight up and down. Here we go. One. Two. Oh, shit, balls, you guys. I screwed that up. Right knee goes up and down. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Step it back with the right leg. Hands come down. I'm going to fix it. Don't worry. Go low. Right leg up to the sky. Belly down to the leg. Palms flat. Tap crown of the head to the floor. Now we come all the way up. Right knee to the chest. Hands over your head. Okay, we're going to the wide. We already did this straight up and down. So here we go. Arms open up like a goal post. Crunch. One. Two. We're out wide. Three. Four. And five. 
Right leg all the way back. A little out of order, not good enough. Palms down. Plank. Chaturanga. Up dog or cobra. And downward. One breath. Two breaths. Bend the knees and we hop. We lengthen. And we fold. Inhale, mountain. Palms over your head. Sink, chair pose. Crunch the pelvic in. Hands come flat. Knees to the back of the triceps. We shift our weight forward to the toes. Maybe they come up for one, two. Connect in that manipura, the core. One more. Step back, left leg only. Left leg only. Yep. Right leg up to the sky. That's one. Right knee to the right tricep. Come back into that crunch. Low. All the way up. Two. Come on, you got this, Jackie. Good job, Phoenix, Kara. Three. Bring it in. Four. Right knee stays to the tricep. Bend the elbow. Kick out the right leg. My left foot is still on the ground for this one still. Yeah. And then swing it back, chaturanga. Up dog or cobra. Downward dog. I think my arms and my core are gonna get an ass kicking by the end of this one. Hug the arms down. Inhale. Exhale. Soften the knees, look forward, inhale. Hop to the top. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Top of the head reaches to the big toes. Inhale, mountain pose. Hands over your head. Look at them. Same chair. Crunch the pelvic. Good. Palms flat down. Knees to the triceps as high as you can get them. Crunch the pubic again. Sternum to the lower belly, lower belly to the sternum. We lift, maybe the toes come up. Gaze comes forward. For five breaths, big toes touch and lift high. Two more. Step it back with only the right leg. Left knee stays up. Oh, left leg to the sky. One. Left knee, left tricep. Two. Left knee, left tricep. For three. Four. Stay at the fifth one. Left knee to the tricep. I'm going to face you all. Left knee to the tricep. Bend the elbows. Left leg kicks up. My right toes are still on the ground. Good. And then bring it back. Plank. Chaturanga. Cobra. Downward dog. Hell yes. Good job, guys. Five breaths. Downward dog. And then we're going to come down for a breath. Don't worry. Four, and five. Knees to the floor. Come to standing on those knees. Hands to the hips. Top of the feet untucked. Lift up through your core, through your lower, I guess, chakra, your first chakra. Shoulders down. Straight body, reach back. Stay. Two. Three, four, lift up. Good, we're gonna do five of these. Here we go, reach back. Hold, one, two, three, four, lift up. God help me, you think we can do five? <laughs> Let's go. The last one's gonna be exciting. I can't wait. Lift up. Last two. Come on, we got this, you guys. Reach back. Strong body like a washboard. Lift up. Okay, this last one. Give me all you got. Come on, we got this. Reach back. Washboard. Hands to the heels. Push the quadriceps forward. Lift the heart up. Release the head back. Find the pubic bone going forward. Two. Three, four, inhale, we come up. Hands to the floor, 
downward dog. Release it out. Move the hips left and right. And then please widen out your feet as wide as your yoga mat. Get it to the corners. Nice and wide. Spread the lower back out, right? Maybe move the body out. She feels really nice behind the legs. And then I want you to hug the elbows like down as if you were trying to come to the forearm, but you're not. Just hold that manipulation. Left hand to the right ankle. Turn open one. Reach forward. Turn open and touch the right ankle. Two. Shift wide. Left hand forward. Turn open. Three. Shift forward. Turn. Four. You got it. Turn. Hold forward. Left hand down. Downward dog. Connect. Good. Here we go. Right hand to the left ankle. Turn. Keep the hips centered. Shift the body weight forward. Reach. That's one. Turn. And reach. That's two. Turn. Reach. Three. Four. This is hitting our back and our core. Last one. Hold the ankle and turn. Right hand down. Downward dog. Three breaths. Good. Walk your hands back towards your toes. Walk your feet out nice and wide, wider than your mat. Palms come flat in between the feet if that's possible. And shift the weight forward into the balls of your feet so that your tailbone is nice and high stacked over your heels. Hug the elbows back. Bring the top of the head to the floor. Hold. Breathe. Internally rotate the thighs, firing up. Good. Inhale, lengthen, press into the hands, look forward. Grab the big toes, head to the ground again. Hold. Inner thighs firing up, getting into the sides here. Halfway up, inhale. Hands behind you this time. Fingertips face away towards the heels. Walk them back behind you, head to the floor. Reach those hands back, lift the tailbone. Inner thighs fire up. Good. Hands come forward underneath the shoulders. Lengthen, inhale, head off the ground, gaze forward. Good. Hands to the lower back. Lift up halfway. Soften at the knees. Top of the head comes down. Hands come up to the ceiling. Eventually, one day, they do reach the floor. I'm not there yet. Two more breaths. Good. Hands to the floor. Lengthen halfway. Gaze comes forward. Exhale, hands to the hips, soften the knees, stand all the way up. Good. Heel toed in. Heel toed in. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway up, we lift. And then walk it forward, downward dog. Good. Hug the elbows down. Heels to the ground. Right elbow down, left elbow down. Keep the hands apart, please. Walk the feet up, 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 and bring your gaze to your navel. Push into the ground. Try to hold here. Quadriceps on fire. Push into the floor a little more. Good. And then knees to the floor, child's pose. Give those arms a break. You know where we're going. You see it happening. Good. Okay, tabletop. Downward dog. Elbows down. Walk the feet forward. Gaze to the navel. Crunch the pubic bone in. Right leg up. 
Toes flexed, left knee bends, hop. One, hop. Two, three, get an L shape with that body. Four, last one, and five. Right foot down, knees down, child's pose. For five breaths, connect to the belly, connect to the core, connect to the third eye, right? Third eye and navel are connected. Fire in both of them. See it, feel it. Good. Tabletop. Downward dog. Fire up the belly, pull it in, ribs in. See it, feel it. Left elbow down, right elbow down. Walk the feet. Push into the hands. Left leg up. Toes flexed, inner thigh squeeze, hop up for one, make it out with the body, two, three, four, and five, left foot down, knees down, child's pose for five. Okay, before we go full force, lift up tabletop, stand on the knees. Bring your hands behind your back, grab opposite forearms. Close your eyes. Pull the glutes in, feel the hips right over the knees instead of the butt either back or arching, right over the knees. Feel that strong line, close your eyes. Now imagine your legs are your forearms. And feel how strong the torso can be through the core. And imagine your crunch now. Maybe even pull the chin into the sternum and crunch. Fire up those legs everywhere. Push those arms of your legs down. Hug the elbows. Good. And then hands come down. Tabletop. Downward dog. Okay, so if you have a wall nearby, and you want to possibly lift up both legs at the same time. Maybe get to a wall or calm, whatever the hell you have. Now we're going to go for it. Elbows down. Gaze to the navel. Am I still in the picture? I want to make sure. Yeah, I'm here. Just making sure. Here we go. Right leg or left leg can go up. Push like hell. And then tap the wall. Maybe both legs go up and give it a try both legs. Connect to the core and then maybe you find a balance just like you did in that camel pose. We're going to do both sides five times and play. Take about a minute or two to play through this to connect just like we did the very first pose in that crunch of cow, cat cow, that sternum to the navel, navel to the sternum, that center, that Contribution. And try the other leg. And then take your time coming down, take a child's pose. <laughs> Holy sugar balls. <laughs> Good. <laughs> so, you may or may not have gotten it, it doesn't matter. What gets in the way is the ego. What matters is that you contribute a little bit more each time you do it, by dedication, by practice. And this is all about the Manipura, the Cinderella story, I can get into that in a second. From child's pose, come on to your back. <laughs> come on to your backs. <laughs> Wipe the sweat off. And then just put your hands on your stomach. Knees can be bent or out, it doesn't matter. Hands on your stomach, just connect to your core. So the core, the middle of the body, it makes sense that when the middle of the body is off of balance, energetically we're off of balance. So just feel the breath, rise the belly up, and down. And so the biggest thing I think, especially for people who are driven, like I know all of you on here are, because 
you wouldn't have taken a vinyasa strong class if you weren't. If you're a driven person, we get into this goal orientation that we have to achieve something, right? But instead, think of it more of a contribution towards something, to connecting energetically to yourself and to find this establishment of balance, not just physically, but in your nervous system. Relieving this need to meet something specific. And instead, accomplishing wholly to just progression. Let go of the attachment to outcome, which is not connected to who you really are. And instead, just reward yourself for the practice you put in. Okay, now bend your knees, please. Let the knees just gently fall to the left and to the right. And instead of being accomplished into what feeds the ego or makes the ego feel value, instead let the body just move in the way it's designed to move to experience, to go through things. Good, allow the knees to fall to the right. And maybe bring the right foot to rest right on top of the left hip, or not really the hip, the left IT band. Bring the right heel just to rest on the left IT band and just nourish that side of the body, the left side of the body. And even back during the 20th century, scientists like Albert Einstein developed the scientific theory that the man is an energetic being and then that challenging man's relationship with nature and the universe and finding where they fit in is a very strong pull. That pull of finding yourself in connection with your surrounding physical body is called in their terms, electromagnetic or bioenergy field of finding your place in this world. Unravel, bring the knees to the opposite direction And bring the left heel on top of the outer right leg. And then release that need, if you can, just for a few breaths. And instead, feel this experience that we're all going through together. This experience of new, unknown, uncharted. But the more you stay in balance with who you are, the more that you can kind of keep yourself grounded with what's to come because who you are and where you are in this world is constantly changing because none of us really know where we're going or what's to come. Good. Undo these knees, bring them into the chest. Bring the knees to the chest and wrap your forearms around your shins. Lift your chest and your head up to meet it. Okay, and we're gonna move through this a few times. Think and imagine low boat, that force against gravity that you can lift yourself up against from this, uh, this uh, energetic pull and extend the legs out to a hover and extend the arms out behind you, low boat. Yes, there you go, Carol. And then hug it in, pull it in. Forearms around the shins and then low boat. Arms extend, legs in front, good. And then pull it in, we're gonna do five. And extend, low boat, head hovers. And pull it in, all the way up, and pull in. Hold low boat, feet out, arms out. Good, bring the knees towards the armpits, grab the big toes, happy baby. Ground the tailbone, the sacral area to the earth. But still feel your inner knitting of your ribs together. Good. Gently awaken that side to side rock. Still out your happy baby. And then extend high boat, lift up, legs high. And we're gonna go happy baby, high boat, here we go. Lower, happy baby, sacrum down, connect with your 
tailbone, and then high boat. So you can really hard transition. And then all the way down, happy. Do flying, and it becomes easier on flying as well. Happy. And V, high boat. Good job, you guys. Keep the legs together, Kara, if you can in high boat. Last one, hold high boat. Hold high boat, grab the feet. Rock high with the legs, connect to the stomach. Okay, and then we're gonna rock to plow pose. So here we go. Feet are gonna land behind your head. Release, hands down beside your hips, toes behind your head. And then high boat, bind your toes. <laughs> yeah, so plow, arms down, toes behind you. Legs, inner thighs active. Keep them active the whole time. Inner thighs touch the whole time. Find your momentum. I'm going to do three more because I kind of cheated the first couple. Plow. High boat. Last one. Hold high boat. Grab your toes. Grab your toes. Hold it, hold it. Come on, the core should be fired, fired up. Thighs together, knees rotate. Look at them, they're telling you a story. Keep the energy for yourself, don't give it away. Okay, fire log pose. Right knee over the left ankle. Right ankle over the left knee. Sit up tall. Left hand, right knee. Right hand behind your hip, rotate out. Kelly, I can't see you, but I hope you're still there. Good, and then bring the Picking my... Yay! Left elbow outside the right knee. Yep, left palm down, right arm open, stretch out that right lower back. Good, come back to center. Reach all the way up. Elbows and arms extend forward, head down, maybe elbows down. And if it feels good to kind of move here, move a little bit. And then walk the hands back to the shins. Right elbow, outside, right arch. Right hand down, left arm rotates up, navel in. Hug the tailbone forward, just like that posterior pelvic tilt. And release. Come back up to center. Extend hands behind you, legs out and up. Hold, rock forward. And then we're doing the opposite side. Left knee on top of the right ankle. Left foot on top of the right knee. Sit up tall. Here we go, right hand, left knee, twist. Posture nice and straight, shoulders back. Good, coming back to center. Lengthen again, belly tight, fold. Hands forward, elbows down, head releases. So I'm gonna stay in fire log pose, so you can always just stay as you are. Flex both of your feet towards your shins. When you wanna come deeper into a pose, such as this, it's a flex of the feet. When it's a stretch, you can flex the toes away, but to come deeper, just like in this one, or in let's say lotus pose, it's a flex towards. Good, lift all the way up. Walking over to the other side now, so your left hand to the left arch of your foot. Bring the left elbow into the arch, left hand down, right arm up, and turn. Good. And then bring it down. Okay, last pose. I'd like you to please bring the left heel, we're going to Lotus, into the right hip really high and flex that toe like hell. Flex the left toe towards the shin. And then see if you can bring your right heel high onto the hip or one at a time. This was really hard, you guys. Flex both toes. And rock the weight forward, all the way forward. Hands outside the legs, shift, hips come up. And then hips come down, 
You're gonna think I'm insane. Elbows down, legs stay as they are. Come to your spine, head to the floor. Good. Legs undo, Shavasana. Legs out wide, toes turn out, palms flip open. Close your eyes. So I looked at the time and realized that it was already 10.55. So if you feel that we missed something, by all means, you can still do it. Otherwise, allow yourself to just chill out. To let go. To let go of the drive. And redefine who you are in this moment. Return back to a natural breath. Return back to an ungripping feeling within the physical body. And then I'd like you to connect just where the toes are. Connect to that middle toe. Bringing some grounding feelings into the feet. Inhale up into the hands, connect to that middle finger. Just as they are, no movement necessary. Connect for this inner overall feeling of harmony in the mind and in the body. And then I'd like you to bring your arms over your head, lace the fingers, one thumb over the other, and then extend that middle finger up. Feed this strong temple of your body with this mudra, this mudra of Mantangi mudra that connects to the Manapura. What does it mean to you? What does it mean to you to have and be okay with your individuality within your body? Within the ground in which you walk upon, within your center of your world, your universe, your family. Allow your breath, allow your voice, allow your energy to be felt and to be heard. Whoops. Take one more minute. And just stay content with your breath. Good. Bring your hands down by your sides and roll to the fetal position. We are highly influential beings, but we are also highly influenced beings. Connect with your center, your balance. You've created this fire within you, this light within you. Slowly rise up, close your eyes, bring your hands to your heart center. May the influence of the practice always grow you, always grow you into evolve into a stronger version of yourself as a great influencer, not as easily influenced as you possibly could be without the strength you've created within you. 
Namaste, the light within me recognizes the light within each and every single one of you strong ladies. Namaste. That was fun 